what I found works the best for when you're faced with a situation of placing implants in any edentulous maxilla or mandible. Have your lab fabricate two surgical guides. One surgical guide is a duplicate of the actual denture. It's going to have your stabilization pins fabricated into it. The second surgical guide is actually the surgical guide that you're going to be using to make your osteotomies. The first step is to insert the duplicate of the denture guide into the patient's mouth. Once this is stabilized by having the patient bite down very, very gently, you can then, while they're biting down, make your osteotomies through the bone to find your reference points. This is what allows you to prosthetically place your implants in reference to the where the teeth actually need to be. Once you've had your pilot holes made for your stabilization pins, you can then place the actual surgical guide into your, into your patient's mouth, insert the stabilization pins into the osteotomies which you piloted with your initial guide stint. Once this is locked in place, you can then make your initial osteotomies for your implants. This is the smallest spur that you have available. You basically just want to get a reference of where you're going through the hard tissue. After you've made your pilot osteotomies, remove the stabilization pins, remove the guide, flap the case, evaluate your, your access points, your directions, your angulations, ensure that you've got them where you plan them on your cone beam CT scan implant workup software. If you appear to be accurate and you've got the, the bone as you've planned in your cone beam CT scan, fantastic. Then you can place the guide back in again with the case flapped, utilizing the palatal mucosa to stabilize in addition to the position of these reinserted stabilization pins and continue on with your osteotomies. If by chance there's an implant that's going to be off, usually it's going to be the very posterior one. If you have other implants adjacent that do appear to be where they need to be, do those osteotomies first, utilizing your surgical guide. Come back and complete the final oste the osteotomy of the one that you're not happy with, centering it on the bone freehand, but using those other implants, which you've completed the osteotomies as, as a reference point.